In our recent Foresight 24 publication, we had mentioned the constitution of an expert committee on arbitration law to review and recommend reforms to our arbitration system. We are happy to note that the expert committee submitted its report to the Ministry of Law and Justice earlier this year. I would urge those interested in the law and practice of arbitration to go through the report. In this video, I will briefly summarize some of the key recommendations. First, the report addresses the confusion between seat and venue and recommends replacing the word place currently appearing in the Arbitration Act with either seat or venue suitably to clarify jurisdictional issues and align with international practices. Second, strict and mandatory timelines are proposed for filing of pleadings, disposal of cases and specific applications such as Section 8 applications to ensure a quicker resolution and um, reduction in time. Thirdly, it recommends changes in the law to ensure that parties to an arbitration agreement have equal rights in the appointment of arbitrators to maintain fairness and impartiality. The report also recommends that the law specifically provides for the court's power to vary awards under Section 34, albeit in exceptional and rare circumstances. And this is an important recommendation given the prevailing divergence in views on this subject. Provisions are also recommended for strengthening the framework for the enforcement of arbitration awards, including emergency arbitration awards, to ensure they are executed swiftly and effectively. Finally, and this for me is a vital recommendation echoing the views expressed by litigants, judges, practitioners across India, the expert committee has highlighted the need for a dedicated bar and bench for arbitrations. There is a need for specialized arbitration benches in courts with the mandate to exclusively hear arbitration related cases and equally there is a need for competent advocates to take up arbitrations exclusively and support the lawmakers and the judiciary in improving the overall arbitration practice and experience in India. We believe that a majority of these reforms will be implemented as they will significantly improve the arbitration lands landscape in India and align it with the international best practices uh, making India attractive for international commercial disputes, which is vital for the development of any economy.